This is one of his uh, special works of art. This is an incredible sculpture. And we, uh, we showcased in our museum show uh, yesterday, um, Nano Lopez. And on Thursday night, Marcus and Yolanda came in and crashed the party so they could see Nano's works. And they're such a fan of his work. And, and this is their first foray into this type of sculpture. And it's, a, it's incredible. You see this expressionist colors and vibrant colors and working in resin. Each one of these works is a one of a kind. Uh, they're in your catalog now. We sent you a separate video of him discussing these works with a colleague, David Gorman. And, uh, and if you look at uh, the interview we did, you'll see uh, where he's going with this. There's a whole family of these works that are coming together. And he allowed me this one work, as long as I kept it in my office and brought it straight back to his house when the show was over. So for those of you interested in these sculptures, check out the video and the email we sent. Check out the catalog. It's a one of a kind work. It's amazing. It's a, you know each one's going to be a unique variation. Ninety eight hundred starting bid for this one. There's smaller sizes, different prices. I'm so excited to get into these for the second time uh, at the telecast. Pretty exciting. So that's the first work I'll show you. Now, when you look at Marcus's work and you think about the things that have happened to him in his career, um, it's amazing to think about. You know, he did a mural across the street from the space that we're in right now. We discovered him, submitted his work to us, you know, twenty five some odd years ago. And in 2014, he was selected to be the official artist of the Grammys. And think about the exposure of the art and think about the inspiration of his art and how uh, that's such a major opportunity for an artist to get, uh, get their work seen by so many. This is a work of art that's one of my highlights of the weekend. And it is inspired by the series of works. He created a series of works that was submitted to the Grammys. So this is Grammy-inspired 2014 series, Girls Playing on the Red Carpet. And it's an awesome, one-of-a-kind mixed-media painting. It's the second time that we have ever released a work of art that is created with the intention of the series of Grammys. So for those who are looking to get something important, something significant, make a marquee acquisition with, you know, without maybe a, you know, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar acquisition, seventeen thousand five is the starting bid for this uh, this great painting, and uh, this is over ten thousand dollars. So you're going to get two thousand dollars in collector's cash, additional to you know, the 2,500 or the 10% and all those things. So this is one of those works to really, uh, really highly consider if you're a fan of Marcus Glenn, really significant, important work. The last work of art that we released uh, sold, I believe it was at the price point of 38,005. Uh, well, not mistaken, that was the price point. So you're at 17.5, smaller. This is a smaller work of art. And for those who are fans of Marcus, and uh, this is a significant moment in his career, this is a release from the archives of Marcus Glenn. Now, the other three works I have here, I wanted to show you, he was discussing his Storm series, Empowerment. These are all mixed media paintings. They've got a surreal nature to them. Really uh, amazing to get an original painting, a one-of-a-kind work. All of these have an opening bid at under $3,000. So, you know, over $2,500, you are getting $500 in extra collector's cash uh, on any work of art from the curated collections. And tonight, it's, it's Dweb, it's Marcus Glenn, it's manuscripts. Uh, last night, of course, we featured uh, Michael Goddard. And, you know, you're looking at this nine separate collections. Any work of art over $2,500 from that collection gets you $500 in collector's cash. So all of these are original one of a kinds, and they have a starting bid of $2,650, just over that price point. So I thought, you got to highlight these, give them an opportunity. So... These are three different works that we've got here for you. So this is Olivia up close and personal, Lil up close and personal, and Sherry up close and personal. And so you see uh, just three mixed media, one of a kind paintings. So we've got a great show plan for Marcus. Got to get into the catalog, check out the sculptures, check out the mixed media originals. And of course, this is uh, an opportunity to get, not only is this Grammy's painting available to you, but you also have a published example of his work in the catalog as well. Uh, kind of him paying a little homage to his favorite artist, Emile Belay. So Marcus Glenn. Really excited. It's going to be a fun Exciting. show tonight. Love yeah. Marcus. Love his work. Really amazing artist. I uh, remember when he brought his portfolio in, how blown away we were by it when we first saw it. That's so cool. So, so cool. We, yeah. We'd been looking for a really young, exciting artist who had, you know, came out of the African American school and such an important part of American art history, African American art. It's powerful, you know. And uh, Marcus just walked in with that portfolio. We looked at it and just went, what? Where have you been, dude? Like, you know, <laughs> why have you not been with us for the last 20 years? So, of course, today he's a superstar. So we're so thrilled uh, to, you know, have his work as part of the Parkwest family. Let's talk to Ev. Yeah. Okay. 